Donald Trump is getting weirder and weirder as we get closer to the election. Ever since Joe Biden dropped out and Kamala Harris took over with her energetic campaign, Trump has been desperately trying to get the nation's attention. That includes him posting a lot on social media, even coming back to X. But now Donald Trump has posted the strangest message yet. In a post full of airs and appearing to just end randomly mid-sentence, Donald Trump seems to have glitched out. Donald Trump was quickly ridiculed and deleted the post shortly thereafter. Let's see if you guys can make any sense of what he was trying to say and what's going on here. This latest meltdown for Donald Trump started at the end of the DNC. When Kamala Harris's speech was going on, Trump decided to live post the True Social up to 50 messages complaining about Kamala. And his first one started with, where's Hunter? Why would Donald Trump be talking about Joe Biden, who dropped out at the end of July, while Kamala Harris is delivering her acceptance speech to the DNC? This guy wants to run against Joe Biden so badly. And after posting like a madman on True Social, Trump then called in to Fox News to rant for 10 minutes. And it got to the point where they had to cut him off and end the phone call. Look, he was treated very unfairly by the Democrats. Yeah. He would have beaten Joe Biden in a Democrat primary. I right. have no doubt about it. And they made it absolutely impossible for him. They made it that you have yeah. to get 60, 70 percent of the vote just to get in. And you Mr. know what? President. In the end, the Democrats did the same thing to Joe Biden. They threw Joe Biden out of the no. party. And that's they why did we the saw same a different thing as they did to our Mr. President, President thank, thank you, you so very much, much sir. for the time. Okay, we appreciate that much. live feedback. Right. Stay right thank in there. Live edition of Gutfeld is coming up. Thank you so much for joining us from Chicago. It's been a great week. Good night. And it's incredible that Donald Trump and the Republicans had no game plan to take on Kamala Harris if Joe Biden were to drop out. That's what Trump was pushing for after the first debate, along with so many other people. And yet he seemed shocked as anyone when Joe Biden decided to take him up on it and said, you know what? Fine, we'll let Kamala be the nominee. And then this morning, Donald Trump decided to post a series of messages on True Social. After first posting a picture of himself riding a lion saying that he can make America great again, and then plugging Melania's new book by saying, if you love our former first lady as much as me and are ready for the truth, buy her new book now. Melania provides an insightful perspective of her tenure as first lady of the United States, highlighting our shared experiences, her entrepreneurial achievements, plus the challenges and triumphs she experienced since her childhood in Europe. I'd be willing to bet a thousand dollars that Trump did not write that true social post about Melania. I don't think he would ever say anything like that about her, nor do I think she wants anything to do with him. So somebody else wrote that just to plug her book so she could make a few bucks. This transactional family has no bottom to the grift. And then Donald Trump wrote this strange message that appears to stop right in the middle like he suffered a glitch. Trump wrote, these are great patriots who work their hearts out to have a strong and powerful in border only to be harassed by border czar Kamala Harris who wants the and that's where the post ends. He doesn't say anything else. What a strange thing to post onto your social media account. What does a powerful in border mean anyways? And how do you just leave the rest of the message off like that? And why would you post that on the true social without reading it once over? Very strange behavior. There were some pretty funny responses to Donald Trump's post on Twitter. Liberal Lisa in Oklahoma said, is Donald Trump stroking out? He just stopped mid-sentence. And Cheryl Lynn, who goes by Shossie 2 on Twitter, said, in the middle of vomiting up yet another incoherent word salad, poof, it's gone. Powerful ones, pass the Cavethi, please. What in the world is going on with Donald Trump? He's just sounding stranger and stranger every single day. And he's going to continue to post odd things like this and prove to America that we do not want this guy as our commander in chief. Donald Trump has 70 plus days between now and November 5th to try to show America that he's a competent leader and a better option than Kamala Harris. But the way things are going, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to achieve that anytime soon. I don't know how you guys are feeling, but things are looking pretty good for the Kamala Harris campaign. 
I know people will say, don't be complacent, don't let off the gas, we need to volunteer, and it's true. You should be out there knocking on doors, pitching in a few bucks if you can. This is the final stretch, so we can all do a little more if possible. But if Donald Trump continues to post weird things like this, he's going to be his own worst enemy, and Kamala Harris is going to sail to victory.